This is the pragmatic point, is the church does not have a book of Leviticus. The New Testament church doesn't have a book of Leviticus. It doesn't lay down absolutely everything we ought to be doing all the time. And because it doesn't lay down the book, uh, it gives us all this freedom. That means that in the church, we should use this freedom basically to ask ourselves, not, oh, how can we get our way, but how, if you're the mature ones, how do we have a church not for ourselves but for non-Christians? How do we have a church not for ourselves but for the poor? How do we have a church not for ourselves but for, the, uh, for, for new Christians or less mature Christians? See, the people running a church tend to be not poor, usually. They tend to be, um, uh, you know, doctrinally, you know, uh, more well-schooled. They, uh, they certainly tend to be Christians. And as a result, when they look at non-Christians, when they look at uh, poor people, when they look at other people who are not like themselves, uh, Paul says, you should be driven to say, I'm going to do everything in my church for them, not for me. Don't build a church to please yourself. Build one that is not unnecessarily alien to the people around you who are different than you. 